in this video we will be looking at higher purchase okay first things first what is higher purchase so this is when you make a loan to buy something okay um, in this case it could be for larger items most often and the examples I'm going to give you here are things like appliances, um, we have refrigerators, furniture, that's another one. So all these type of items you buy on credit. So you basically make a little loan and this is when maybe you don't have enough cash. So that's why you would do this. Okay, no mula. Now let's look at an example. I have here a typical advertisement that you would see in magazines or something. This is the Nulu stove and we start off with the cash price. That's 12,500 Rand. In this video, I'm just going to say CP, cash price. And we also read that it has a five year warranty. This is just extra information. The model number is there. Or let's say you don't have enough money. Now you want to buy this on higher purchase. Okay, so you want to make a higher purchase agreement. And if you do that, you need to put down 10% deposit in the beginning. And this 10% is of the cash price. So that 10% of 12,500 Rand, you got to put it down. Then the remainder of the money, there you will see your interest rates. Uh, and the remainder of it will be kind of a loan that you have to pay back. The term is over 48 months. And just for interest sake, if I want to take that 48 months to years, how am I going to do that? Obviously divide by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. And that gives me a perfect number for years. All right, remember that. And then we have something that says, okay, um, your monthly payments is 356 Rand. So I'm going to write here, every month you have to pay a smaller amount back. And this is part of that loan that you made basically to pay it off. So you can either pay it with cash or you can use the higher purchase option. In which case you will actually be paying more you pay more because obviously there's interest and i also want to mention that this uses simple interest if ever they ask you to work it out determine it you will use the sim simple interest method or formula and unless they specify otherwise unless they tell you use compound interest right so this was just an overview let's go in and look at some typical questions that they could ask uh, that they could ask from these type of advertisements. Now, first things first, they almost always ask you to calculate the deposit. And if I want the deposit, it's basically just a percentage of something. In this case, the cash price and of is times. So it's kind of a little formula, right? But you got it, it's 10%. Put it in your calculator times the cash, cash price, 12,500 Rand. And the answer here is 1,250. Cool. That was an easy one. Moving on to the next guy. If now you buy this on the higher purchase agreement, they will ask you to determine or calculate the loan amount. So this guy is a biggie. Okay. If I want to determine the loan amount, keep in mind that in the beginning, I already paid the deposit. I put it down on the table so the deposit is gone. Okay. And now when you remember that, you say, okay, what is the rest of the amount that I have to loan? That will then be the cash price, the full price minus the deposit. So I already put down something and it cost 12,500 Rand. So what's left? That's the amount that I have to pay. And like, once again, you can kind of remember this as something that works for all questions, right? Okay, cool, let's do it. We have cash price 12,500 Rand minus the deposit, which we just worked out in the previous question. And your answer is 11,250. 
And I want to mention that questions, especially in Mathlet, they always um, they are always in order. They follow each other. So you will use the answer in number one, in number two, and then the answer number two in number three. Please remember that most of the time, if you're stuck, just check and look at your previous question. Okay, cool. Continuing to number three, a common type of question will be the interest. So how much interest will you pay? Obviously, on the higher purchase agreement. Okay, interest can be determined in two ways, but here we remember that if I want to determine simple interest, quick and easy, right? Without even a little formula, I just remember that I have an amount, in my case, the loan amount, and I have to add that percentage, which they say is 13%, right? And you remember that. I have to add the percentage, so I multiply it. And then the only thing extra is to remember that there is a time, okay? There's a certain time that I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do it for a few years or a few months. And let me just write here, I, so in this case, we know that the time is 48 months, which is four years. We need to use that in this formula example, okay? So the loan amount, we just determined in the previous question, remember? It is 11,250. The interest rate, I'm going to say 13, and I'm going to put it over 100 time for years. Answer that you get here is 5,850. 5,850. Cool. Now, let's go to a next type of question. They say, they can ask you, what is the final amount? So this is, a, this is a biggie, the final amount, okay, you have to pay. And this is obviously also for the higher purchase agreement. This is not now the cash price. That's a once-off guy. So let's think about it. Okay, let me write it down here somewhere. So the final amount, and we think about it. Here we have a monthly repayment, and we know that we pay that for 48 months, so it's kind of times 48 months, right? And don't forget that in the beginning, you also paid a deposit, and in total, that is all you paid. So we have the monthly repayments times the months, right? Because you paid it for 48 months, and just in final to add the deposit, right? And that would be, in our case, if I just put it in, 356,25 times 48. And plus the deposit we determined in the previous answer, which is 1,250. So I'm just going to add that, 1,250. And you get your answer, 18,350. I do want to mention that there are other ways to determine the final amount. For example, when you add the interest to the loan amount and the deposit, so there are other ways, you will get the same answer. But it's easier to just remember one or two things. And I also want to say that they could ask you, okay, fine, what is the difference between the final amount and the cash price? So let me get... Let me get this like here. If the cash price is 12,500 and the final amount was 18,000, so that's when you use the higher purchase score. So we have the cash price and we have the final amount. And if they say, what is the difference? It's obviously a subtraction sum. Now what they actually looking for, think about it, they actually looking for the interest. How much interest did you pay? So this is just another way to say find the interest because they're asking how much extra did you pay from that amount all the way to that amount, right? How much interest did you pay? And you can work it out. You will get an answer of uh, 18,350 minus the cash price and it'll give you 5,850, something we already determined in a previous question. Cool. And then we move on. Now the last type of thing they could ask you here 
is basically just to um, to determine if the monthly repayments okay so let me just rub all of this out they could ask you determine if the monthly repayments are correct was it calculated correctly there we go is it really 356 rand and if ever you want to determine this this is basically like calculating monthly repayments let's think about it you obviously have to get the total amount that you paid and then divide it by the number of months why? Because if I know I pay 10,000 Rand, I have to pay 10,000 Rand, I divide it by the number of, let's say, 12 months, then I know how much I can pay per month. Think about it like that. Okay, how do we get the total in this case? Think about you had the loan amount, cool, and don't forget about it, you also had the interest. When you added those two, that's kind of the total that you paid back. Forget about the deposit, the deposit is already gone. Forget about the deposit and the number of months so quickly put it in uh, substitute the loan amount is uh, 11,250 the interest we determined previously it was 5850 the number of months 48 months and you got an answer of 356,25 so the monthly repayments was calculated correctly every month you pay this amount for 48 months and in total that gave you the loan amount and the interest together okay that's the end of this video and remember to share like subscribe and become part of the whiteboard sa team